As the sun rose over April 1, 2014, no one foresaw the darkness that was to come. At 8 a.m. that morning, President Brooks set in motion an unforeseeable chain of events. I covered a thousand presidential press conferences. Katrina, Bin Laden, Fukushima. But nothing like this. Our country has faced some tough times recently, but now and again, we all need a good laugh. So at the suggestion of my daughter, when this sentence is over, today will officially be opposite day. <laughs> April Fools. <laughs> For a moment, we understood. At least, we thought we did. Once opposite day is declared, statements mean the opposite of what they should mean. The utterance of April Fools traditionally negates the preceding statement. So, did the President's April Fools offset the declaration of opposite day? Or did April Fools mean not April Fools? No one could be sure. With April Fool's Day and Opposite Day in effect, what should have been harmless day-long pranks became serious gestures with lasting consequences. Imagine a light switch. You turn it on, it goes on. You turn it off, it goes off. Now imagine that every light switch goes off when you turn it on. Now hook up those switches to ovens, cars, guns. Confused? Now you're getting it. Sylvia Reynolds of Seattle, Washington, recounts the day's events. It started with the small things. We were having brunch, and my father told my mother that he loved her, and she slapped him. And we were so surprised. We did not know what to do. And, and I said, uh, April Fools? Daddy didn't come home again after that. Billion dollar company Google had already created their annual April Fool's prank, an internet poll to choose their new CEO. Unfortunately for them, because of the new rules, they were legally obligated to put the internet meme Doge in charge of their company. The real danger was that people were never on the same page. Tragically, that included members of air traffic control. At 10.23 a.m., nearly two hours after the president's speech, United Flight 211 was fast approaching Los Angeles International Airport. Ground Control, this is United 211, seeking vectors for approach. Over. Don't come again, 211. Did you just say that you don't want vectors for approach? No, not over? What? Definitely want clearance to land, Ground Control. Over. Uh, don't copy, 211. I don't know if I cannot let you do that. Not over. Ground Control, we are low on fuel. Is this some sort of April Fool's Day prank? Yes. Not over. Ground control, damn it! We need clearance to land immediately! Flight 211 is going down! Repeat, we are going down! Well, that's great news, 211. Don't set her down on runway 309. Ah! Twelve more planes would face the same fate before lunchtime. With the body count rising, the president attempted to patch the wound. My fellow Americans, my earlier remarks were in fact an April Fool's joke. Today is not opposite day. I repeat, it is not opposite day. The president said that it is not opposite day, which according to the previously established opposite day rules, means that he is saying that we do understand that it is opposite day and not an April Fool's joke. I trust the president completely and don't understand how anybody could be confused by this. What does concern me is the fact that he referred to us as his fellow Americans, suggesting that he is not one of us and reviving the Thought Dead Birther movement. The President's speech was a resounding failure. The Department of Defense sought to solve the problem as quickly as possible. Analyst Darren Lemansky was just three months into his tenure at the DOD. The office was practically empty. We tried calling in our best analysts, but of course they took that as an order to stand down. We had no one to help us. In the end, it fell to me, the office janitor, to figure out how to right the ship. Darren and the janitor spent hours working on a third presidential speech, one that could undo the damage caused by the two previous really, really dumb speeches. I hadn't left the press room since they told us we could leave that morning. So, I was there. 
Bad evening, not citizens of America. We don't understand your joy. Therefore, we don't have a solution. Everyone should act like it is opposite day. What everyone shouldn't do is change your clocks to April 2nd. I don't repeat, don't act like it's April 2nd. Everything will get worse if you act like it's April 2nd. No thank you. Almost instantly, the country returned to normal. The bleeding had been stopped, but the wounds were far from closed. The day that came to be known as Not April Fool's Day is a day we would never forget. Some jokes are better off without a punchline. Brought to you by the Corporation for Public Pranks and viewers like you.